Hey, Willie, how you doing? All right. You feeling like you wanna, you wanna, you wanna stab a bitch? Or two, or I'm, three. I'm, I wanna say to everyone out there involved in this process, I appreciate your friendship ended with partisan. Silver Knight Spear is my new best friend, Image Macros. Cool. There were so many. Ah, there <laughs> were a couple. I saw two. At the end of the that day. is so many. How do I pull the lever up uh, to make? Oh, no. You gotta go through the fucking uh, the 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 fucking little staircase shit. Ah, uh, right. It's not. That's why we stopped last time. Yeah, I forgot it. Right. <laughs> it was it was the whole trek, wasn't it? Yeah. That being said, now that you're good at the video game, you should be able to do it quite easily. Let's not speak too soon, shall we? Oh, Wooly, come on. You've been spending, you know, do the 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 magic of a film and TV. The, the, the viewer at home can't tell that I it's been look. two weeks since your fingers graced these buttons. Yeah, let's not talk about that, or the fact that... But we all know that you were practicing in your mind. Yeah. At home. You're getting stronger every day. Dude, with that Dark Souls Ebola. You never feel good, alright? You never feel good. Oh, these guys are real, eh? So, that's a nice detail that I love. That's cool, because the painted world does need protection. <laughs> yeah, everybody left. But it's like, no, 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 you, no, 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 you, you guys don't get to leave. You have the job to do. All right, let's take a crack at these fucks. Crack them. See what we I noticed you switched to your, to, your, to your double fist technique. Let's see what we get out of it. You gonna use both your fists? No, you just sandbag my fisting, Joe. Okay. You've discovered the fucking joys of high DPS. Well, that fight just got a lot easier. Right. I like that guy because he's a Balder Knight, but he's, he's the only one in the game, to my knowledge, that's, like, human. Even though he's not wearing, like, pants. You can outrage everybody with that. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's a smarter way to fight. One fist is no longer... <laughs> Friendship ended with one fist. Two fists are now my friend. Two fists are now my best friend. I don't want- I, uh, Nobody- oh. nobody ever does the fucking, uh, follow-up. Yeah. No, oh, it's, uh... Nobody ever does the follow-up where it's, uh, where it's, like, friendship brigade with both. Now, so-and-so and so-and-so and so are both yeah, yeah. my friends. Now one fist and two fists are both my friends. Yeah, okay. Or I can do the, uh, on account of these two nickels. Style. Um, oh, uh, the fucking uh, uh, my fist. My fists are <laughs> Irish. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just see if there's anything else in the empty. Um, two fists are not my friend. Is fine. I just don't. As long as they're two fists in the right context, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Well, the the main idea, I guess, is like, can you just straight up outrange it with your two fists? Great. Can you not? Not. Great. Yeah. So, like, human-style enemies, you can nearly always just beat with that. So those two uh, those two human-style enemies had nothing for me, huh? Nope. Other than a bunch of souls. Well, all right. They, uh... They happen to be... Uh, I forget how do you do it. But they used to be a extremely lucrative farming technique. Oh, you can kill and get, and get yeah. them back? And yeah, and I believe they no longer respawn as of, like, patch 1.06. Huh. Interesting. Because of that. Of farming in this well, area. Well, the reason why I think they uh, took it out is because, and why they were so lucrative is that there, there was little risk of losing the souls because if you manage to kill them, the giant is right there and there's nobody left to stop you. Mm. And you, it would be enough to like buy one twinkling tight night. Uh, so you would just, you would just go and do it, and do it. Why not? Yeah, uh, QAing these games must be unbelievable. Not from like. A, a and B class bug point of view, but from a C class bug point of view, where it's just like, yeah, there's a really, like, great exploit that you didn't think about, and then they have to go, well, maybe we should leave it in because the game's hard enough. Or maybe, maybe we should leave it in. You know, that that stuff is incredible. There's uh, another level, right? Yeah, I believe so. You okay. have to go all the way to the bottom. So I gotta, but after I push it again. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Oh no. Oh, okay. You're done. Let's see what's at the bottom then. Well, we know what's at the bottom. I just it's, need to it's be our, ready for it. It's your boy Gwendolyn. You know what? Actually, uh, uh, 
the spoiler Zelda talk is gonna infiltrate these. Well, don't, 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 no, no, spo don't no, you no, dare no. spoil Zelda. No, no, it's a moment. spoiler for the fact that I'm gonna talk about Zelda in two oh. seconds. Um, there was an interview with Aonuma about one of the dungeons that's uh, motion controlled, and it's a fucking massive pain in the ass. Uh, and he's like, you know, I just cheated on that dungeon. The interview says, I just cheated on that dungeon. I flipped the bullshit over. Uh, sorry, can I always do this and it still doesn't matter? I believe it still does not matter, but hey, let's give it a shot. No! Uh, I can do what I need to. You can. Uh, and So that's sorted. Hopefully. How could that- Hopefully. How- I thought that- I'm, I'm so confused because we left off with me thinking that I had to beat that boss. You know what, man? We also left off with me thinking that. Okay. Alright. Well, as long as it's not just me. But I don't think you can warp to this location. I think that's part of the deal. But I can warp from it, so I can't you can warp, warp to it. You can warp to the one behind you, and you can warp to the one in front of you. Okay, well now that I'm sitting here and, and, and escape is possible, uh... Go say what you're saying about Zelda. Uh, and they said, well, when we were testing all those, those temple shrines, we found that... There are, like, in many cases, three or four different solutions that the designers did not plan for. Such as using magnetism to fucking move objects that... To oh, yeah. To just block puzzles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And bomb jumping over obstacles, and using your fucking uh, metal weapons to cheat electricity puzzles. All sorts of stupid shit. And we, like, we thought about taking those out, and then we were like, nah. <laughs> let them just let them do it. Fuck it. Let them do it themselves. Right, right? but whereas in a game like Dark Souls, like that kind of exploit can kind of fuck up the whole game's like flow. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe. Nothing's guaranteed in this world. But why not take it on? That shield? fucking uh, shield you got there is dope. Heretic. So the funny part about, uh, about Dark Sun Gwendolyn is that he's a bitch. Well, the name just makes me think of, uh, uh, Odin Sphere. Oh, really? Yeah. Because huh. of, uh, the main character. Oh, what was her fucking name? Gwendolyn. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, it's been... Ooh. Ooh, those ones are the tricky ones. They're all the tricky ones, really. Well, the the straight shots aren't so bad, and the straight shot arrows aren't. But, oh, look at his creepy legs! Yeah, this, well, the straight shots are the ones that you can't really hide from. I remember. Yeah. So, uh, okay, that's weird. Yep. That's weird. It is, but you can leave if you want to. But all right, let's try jumping off that edge and see if we can make it without dying. This edge right here? No, 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 no. Just keep running, keep running, and get head that elevator. Oh, you, you sorry, you mean the, um, the I mean the fucking big- Yeah, 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 yeah cause yeah. maybe. If you can survive it at all, then that's a huge time saver. Yeah. Um... Yeah, man, you gotta- you gotta have your- your magic your shield out, because- Yeah. But those- those, you have to juke. Uh, I think- I know, those you can hide in the walls. Yeah. But I remember- I, But, but I, if you wanna keep, like, proper progress. Oh, like, haul an ass, you can juke them. But, cause they can't make 90 degree turns. Mm -hmm. But- it's it's fucking iffy. Everything is iffy. Yeah, I don't know about this. Well, let's see. Oh no! It's just not even close enough. You can't physically get the distance. No, you don't even get the gap. What a bunch of crap! Because the because the, the surface turns away from you. Yeah, and also if you wanted to leave uh, an Orlando, you could also leave via a uh, sense fortress, and you could also leave via the bonfire in the area to your left. Well, here's the thing, is that, uh, what I never did, uh, was- well, let me just get there quickly. What I never did was investigate this. I was gonna go deal with- Well, yeah, cause it had a, a goddamn big-ass golden door. Yeah, so I don't- I actually assumed that this was the way out. Um... Well, bonfires are the way out at this point. Well, I know, but I- I didn't realize that bonfire warping was gonna be my reward. It is your reward. So I assumed that- It's a big goddamn reward, isn't it? It's a huge one. It's a huge one. Yeah, I always said that, like, okay, so once I'm done and done, then I'll just come over here, and, uh... Oh, that... This is gonna walk me out, is what am I... Is oh, that... I forgot the sequence. Yeah, you have to give, uh, you have to give the Lord Vessel to somebody. Oh, that's to not what those. that was. Go okay. Okay. 
Well, there you go. See, I just made an assumption, but I, I, I have no idea. It has been many years since I played this. All the way back... That's fine. In 1988, when I first when played I Dark Souls 1. Mm -hmm. Bro, let's, let's just be real and get back to the original days of how Dark Souls was a launch title for the Specky. You know... A lot of people are saying that the new Zelda is the Dark Souls of video games, but they forget that Zelda was a Dark Souls clone back when it came out in 86. You know, when the first television was made and yeah. they turned it on, we were it, they turned it on to the title screen of Dark Souls. <laughs> it's, you know... <laughs> That's, that's the first thing that was ever seen on a television set. When television came out, all anybody could talk about was how that now the TV was out and it was easy, that books were now the Dark Souls of media formats. Basically. You've gotten on a real kick with that shit ever since that Mega 64 bit. Oh, man. And uh, oh. did you not notice that? No, it, no, I, no, here's the, no, I knew that that was a thing that was constantly, like, brought up and discussed and shit, but... It was just absolutely hilarious. It's the worst to see Mega 64's version of that. I, like, I fucking love. You that see any of the fucking Nier reviews? No. Where I didn't. every because you can recover your body in Nier, so all the all the reviews are like this Dark Souls like death mechanic. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Dark Souls didn't invent the corpse run, man. Who did? It was first popularized in Diablo 1. You gotta go back to your corpse to get your shit? Yeah. Cool. And it existed in RPGs, like, before that. But Diablo 1 was where it became, like, like mainstream and popular. Okay. And even before that was fucking World of Warcraft with the death penalty and the ghost thing. <laughs> Jesus, bro. All right, here's where we cut again. Okay. Here we are. We're back. Um, oh, you have something you can do here. So hold on. What I wanted to do mainly was, uh, like, you know, just get get out and then see if I could get back without that giant, crazy, stupid run. Yes. Because that's silly and the, and the bonfire was active. So. Is this now a thing? No. Okay. Well. All right. Hey, bro. What's, what, do you, what do you got for me, man? How you doing? Fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the death, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Of course it was. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This night of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this. As a token of my gratitude. Oh, isn't that nice? Cool. I mean, I'm not gonna... It's appreciated nonetheless. Yeah. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> As we all are. I can only imagine that if you're a laid-back guy who's way into adventuring... There you are. Like, how fucking shop. sick There's dope Lordran would be. No Does, uh, Lotric have a laugh? Yes. Okay, so all three of them do get one. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay. But Lotrix is, like, cartoonishly evil. Hey, I didn't realize- there's something I made an assumption about that I didn't know, uh, was that there's no damage threshold before people go aggro in, in part one of Dark Souls. Cause remember how, like, I wanted to aggro people before and it was like, you stab, 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 mm -hmm. and then they- then they- they- they go, Oh, now you've hit me enough that I'm yeah. gonna attack you. That doesn't exist in this game? Oh, it doesn't? I don't know. I, I'm like, trying to remember. Because I, I remember I, that. I think that I believe it does. I think the undead he, fucker that I killed for the katana. Yeah. Does he did he die in one swing or, or was it a uh, you had to hit him twice or three times? Did you he took get mad right away? Yeah. You took off most of his junk in the first the first volley. Yeah, okay. Just, I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Uh right. So um what I wanna do is is fix I, that. Fix this. And I want to uh, see if teleporting back is yeah. a possibility at all. Um, and 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 so let's see if we can walk down here. Let's see if you can fix this problem. I bet you can. This is such a good fucking game. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something. Just shove it back in the body. So isn't that? No, think about that, though. Think about the way that souls work. Yeah. You, you go find the corpse, 
and you just shove it back in there, and it works. Because I'm holding on to your-, your Maybe that's only for fire keepers. Thank you. Full of humanity. And now you're better than you were before! Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But... I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Well, it's the first time I'm hearing it, Anastasia. It's implied that she couldn't speak before. Forgive me. Now, now. I am impure. Yeah, there it is. My tongue never intended for restoration. Oh, Catholic guilt. Please. <laughs> if you have any heart, leave me be. Of course, not actually Catholic. There's a way of white guilt. So yeah, like, they cut... Like, you can maim a, a fucking undead to your heart's content, and huh. they'll, they'll stay that way. But as soon as they die and fucking re-pop, huh. then they get completely restored, including all of their maimings. Nice. Uh, did I have two? No, I only had one. You had, you had hers as well. Yeah, and that's what you shoved back in. Uh, well, I want to make you talk a little bit longer. If you have anything to say. I am oh, That's pretty much all she's got. Okay. Well, hey, glad to have you back, lady. Problem pseudo solved. I killed a fuck. And I you got, got him back. good. You, you got the optimal end to that quest line. Yeah. Some of these quest lines, though, are like, fuck. You remember in Dark Souls 3 when we were, like, trying to figure out how to do the fucking final ending and it was like, mm -hmm. shut up? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 not that one. That's gonna, okay, hold on. That's the one that you hate. Chamber, Chamber of the Princess is a lot closer. Chamber of the Princess is where the, is, is the one in front of, uh, uh, Gwen, uh, Guinevere. uh, Guinevere. Yeah. Okay. That's not as bad. Yeah. That's not as bad. It's probably gonna be as bad. I'm just saying. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be down the elevator. Out, no! Out the, the fence. Out the front, out the pull gate. the lever. Nothing but net. Nothing but net. Oh, it's like that fucking bit where Artorius walks in. No, sorry, uh, Artorius walks in and slaps the basketball out of Ornstein's hand. I mean, it's more like that Michael Jordan commercial. You know? Off the wall, over the counter, off the babysitter's head, through the baby, through the gambling debts, all the way off the bank, off the backs of the slaves that I own. Whoa. Nothing but net. He was so, rocking a Hitler mustache. So Michael Jordan owned slaves. Is that the new thing we're Not going at on? all. That was that came out of absolutely nowhere. Mm -hmm. He does, however, have a hard time saying motivational things sometimes when he's like not being paid the ceiling is the roof and that doesn't mean anything and everyone's like we kind of get what you mean yay or when he, he really really angrily apparently said what was it <laughs> so yeah uh that one extra game you beat on my record doesn't mean nothing oh 43 games ain't <laughs> shit or whatever the fuck it was yeah that level of what salt. a fucking fucking that salty salt. bitch oh my god <laughs> Uh, it's God like the fucking you. players of the best season ever come up to him and like, Hey, man, you're my hero. You're getting your wins. Fuck you. Like, oh my God, Mike. That's great. You were the biggest athlete for like 15 fucking years. Can you not? Was it not enough for you? It wasn't. It really wasn't. <laughs> what a baby. <sighs> I wish I get big enough to be that kind of a baby. There was also that other commercial with him and, uh, I think it was Mia Ham. Anything you can do, I can do better. Like, well, like okay. soccer player versus do basketball they, do they, player. Do they play golf? Because I'm sure everybody can play golf better than uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah, well... <laughs> you know. And then, then let's not talk about baseball. I mean, he made a whole movie about that. Did he? Well, Space Jam starts out making fun of himself. Oh, yeah. Where he's like, oh man, I'm shitty at baseball. <laughs> Let me go talk to some cartoons. <laughs> this is the world that li Mike lives in. And then that was that. Oh, you good? You pushed I it down. I am at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Newman shows up. That movie's weird. That movie is weird. But it now holds a special place as the canonical prequel to Barkley's Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. And the eventual Space Jam 2. Yeah, it's the start of the trilogy. <laughs> 
You know the Monstars are in Barkley? Uh, why wouldn't they be? They're great! Yeah, so this is not a real bonfire. I mean, it's a real well, bonfire. Well, yeah, you can use it to teleport, but... can't warp to it. Okay, okay, let me think here. Run, dodge, run, dodge. Stay behind a pillar. Gotta get aggressive. I need, I need, I need a. Well, I will. I, I, I said this before, but it was a while ago, so you may have forgotten. The the chamber looks infinite, and you but would it's not. You would be yeah. not be beholden for thinking it's infinite. It's not actually infinite. Um, yeah. it's just crazy long. Yeah. What I'm wondering though is if there's a way to. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Yeah. yeah! Yeah, 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 That's the fight. Okay. You want to be really careful on your stamina and only run when there's, uh, projectiles. Because, uh, your left and right jog is actually plenty fast. Ah, oh, darn. We're coming for you! Your whole family's dead! Oh, you're doing it. <laughs> you can take a minute. That's So, I don't know if you can tell, but when he raises up, that's his uh, arrows. When he does a swipe, that's the... The fucking... Uh, oh my god. You defeated the Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Ooh. An eternal curse upon thee. Bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming for that feminine dick. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty and lacy. Well, Gwendolyn, I, um, you know, things rolled out of control. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't plan <laughs> this course of events. However, now that I've begun this path, I'm gonna roll with it, because what, cho what choice do I have? So... Wellington is now approaching the title of God Slayer. It's unfortunate that you decided to set the scheme up, because... And then got so mad when you uncovered it. Yeah. So this is where Wifey's gonna die, huh? Yeah. Way in the future. Interesting. Nothing. The fuck? There's that throne. And wifey would be there, wouldn't she? Nothing. Ah, uh, almost got it. Sunlight Blade. That's a fun one that I don't... Or, I don't never really use. Now... I don't never really use. If I remember... Brass set. I, I don't know... I... Dark Souls 3 has been a little while. I think you get the brass set there as well. In, like, in the same spot. That'd be interesting. Wait, wasn't... Uh, this, that's what wifey wears, right? Uh, uh, no. The brass set's what the, the firekeeper wore. Firekeeper. The dope-ass firekeeper yeah, that's got, like, okay. the moon thing in the back okay. of her head. Okay. It's a good so, shit. This has, this has, a, yeah, decent, uh, stuff going on here. Um... Helm of the Dark Moon Nidus, Firekeeper of Anorlando. After becoming undead, she visited the Dark Sun Gwendolyn at the Mausoleum of the Spiral Depths, but beca uh, became a blade of the Dark Moon... Assume that so that's the co that's the covenant yeah right okay and assume the flame fire the fire flame keeping duty uh she received the helm besides her hideous form yes okay ouch that's yeah that's mean it is mean okay uh is that the same for I believe it is all bits of it yeah it's the same okay hmm. it's a fucking cool looking set it's so nice there's a lot of cool looking sets in this game. They, they they fight with each other in your cl in your closet, like you have your, everything hung up, and you're like, I don't know what to wear today, and you're like, Fuck. Look at that fucking helmet! That's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's a great helmet. Damn, nice. I took off something cool. I put on something cool. All right. You're very cool. And there's those flowers right there. So this is the tomb of Gwyn. Yeah. Which he's not in. No. But which is the thing that you're not supposed to know. Well, but, but like, the, the fucking family of Gwyn burial chamber. Family of G. I don't know what they're like, whatever you, you know what I mean? Like, this god family. Yeah, like, a uh, Nameless King probably had a G name. Yeah, so I feel like... Gandolin. So Nameless King is not only the coolest because of his actual boss fight. He's also the only living member by Dark Souls. <laughs> right? Well, Guinevere may be alive. She and may... it's like, you fucking, you, you fucked off to team up with the things that we go kill. So... Why, exactly? 
Who knows? But is you know this, what? It keeps you alive by the end of it. Is this a Dragon Guard situation where you want to fuck it? Who knows? But oh, you're getting close to. You can level for sure. Yeah, yeah. So no, but it's he's cool not only for like. Uh, oh, you're so close to Dex. being actually cool, but also for forsaking that bullshit, huh? Oh, you're so close to maxing out Dex. Yeah, I am. No. <laughs> Uh, do you have any soul things you can pop? Because you're probably, like, probably. That's you're like 1,000 away. That's the first thing I was going to take a look at. Uh, uh, yeah, you do. The Proud Night Souls. You only need like 1,000, so that'll assuredly do it. Are these five? Two. Oh, that's even better. That's even super good. Okay. No. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so now. Let's get back All right, so I'm to reality. List, I'm going to list locations oh, I'm th sure. that you can go right now. Oh, I'm you, go, you know what? I have them in mind. Oh, go, you do have them? Let's, All right, let's hear it. Well, let's go. Well, I have a couple in mind. All right, what do you got in mind? Uh, I have uh, that that first graveyard where shit got fucked Yeah, the, at the very beginning. Uh-huh. Uh, I have New Londo. You have that as well. You definitely can fight the ghost now. I have uh, the, the, the dragon eerie that's not the dragon eerie. Uh, in between here and Blight Town. In between here and Blight Town. Oh, you mean the tree? No, I mean the the the, in the plate the zone you enter for two seconds. Uh, the the demon ruins? No, never mind. Forget it. Anyway, there's all those places. But go, go list. Go on, go list, list. list. Uh, cause there's there's uh the tree that you entered. Yeah. There's uh the demon ruins at the bottom of Blight Town. Yeah. There's uh, New Londo. There's uh, the the fucking graveyard over here, yeah. and I'm uh, and there's also the remainder of the forest. Yeah. You got a lot, okay. And that's and that's before you unlock the sealed areas. You know what else there is? What's that? There's a couple of unfinished business places. Oh, are there? I can do unfinished business. I completely fucking forget. Yeah. What yeah. do you got? Uh, the two things that I I can do or that I should do. Uh, one, I should go um, give our fair lady a bunch of humanity. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I should do is free Big Hat from his fucking... Did you not? No. <laughs> so, uh... Is he still in there? Maybe. It's hilarious. Which one of these is Sense Fortress? Well, hold on. Let's see if he got... Make sure he didn't get out by himself. Oh, really? Yeah. So he'd be next to uh, Griggs if he got out by himself. Uh, Griggs is to your back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's to the right. Uh, over there, yeah. On this side, I think? Yeah, he's on this side. Okay, so no, he did not get out by himself. That, oh, the, that's the sorcery corner, huh? Yeah, so like sometimes in some games, if you like Law Trek, for example, gets out by himself if you don't let him out. Well, because that's the whole thing, isn't yeah. it? So the one you want is the parish. That's the closest I'm going to get. Yeah. All right. You have the shortcut. You have the shortcut. But the shortcut's not actually closer to Logan. It's not closer to him. The Logan's in it. Yeah. Logan's in it. But maybe going backwards might be all right. So this is the best bonfire in the game. Uh, yeah. Because it puts you right next to Andre. Uh, that's not the way. Uh, was it straight out? Yeah, man. It sends forces right there. Yeah. Got your fancy new spear, though. That is different. Yeah. Oh, uh, might as well switch back to your Black Knight shield. Because uh, you're no longer fighting uh, Magic Tentacle Bro. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I like it. And I, that set I, is so fucking I like, dope. I like right. the cosplay right now, but I, I should probably, like, you know. Well, like, if, if you want to go cosplay, like, she doesn't... Uh, I'll do it for a second. It's just a little cleanup. I'll do it for cleanup. Well, it's pretty, dude. Yeah. Hell, dude, if the armor's light enough, you might be able to take uh, fucking Havel's ring off and switch in the Ring of Favor and Divine Protection. Go for a more medium build and have, like, better stats overall. You have the options available to you. Oh man, this spear is so much better! <laughs> it's a pretty fucking great spear, man. Alright, um... And you trained with the toothpick! And now you've been given the big boy spear! Yeah. 